come back. So while in Memphis, <clears throat> the psychiatrist put me on all kinds of stuff. And I went on them. And you'll know I filmed all of this. I filmed all of it. So you'll get to know more about it. But I went on it knowing that I was going to come off. But I needed it because I needed to be stable. And as we know, meds are just a band-aid. You actually have to do the work. <clears throat> So once I decided to remove myself from the relationship I was in, remove myself from people that just um, wasn't time yet, <clears throat> or it may not ever be time, but boundaries needed to be set. So I did, and I moved to Florida, and I came here for healing. I came here for healing, I came here for new inspiration, and I kept came here to continue life. I decided that I wanted to continue life and then <clears throat> November hit and I got extremely sick and I, that's when I told you guys I don't know how I got through it to be honest with you I really don't I getting ready for a show while having 20% <laughs> of your lungs work you're running a fever you can't walk down the stairs without coughing and having to sit down I couldn't carry pieces people in my condo building helped me thank you guys they helped me take them there to the show and they helped me take them back because I couldn't do it. <clears throat> so after that, I decided that <clears throat> I was gonna go on IVs, which I did do that. And then I worked until January because I had commissions and all of that, which I love doing that. You know, that's I love doing it. And then I decided in January and February to To be honest, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I couldn't take the regimen of the CF. I couldn't take all the pills anymore. I couldn't take, it was just too much. It was overload and it's like a whole nother, it was taking on a whole nother life of itself. And so in January, I decided to cut cold turkey. I decided to go inside myself and take time for myself, but I couldn't afford to take time for myself. So I did the best that I could with trying to and you know I got my numbers back up to like 38 I think <clears throat> and got off all those meds went on sabbatical <laughs> turned off my phone turned off the TV got into my Bible got into books got into myself tried to understand how and why and I don't want to repeat it again because it's been repeating itself too many times. I want to learn the lesson and I want to move forward. And so that's what I did. But I couldn't do that. I personally couldn't. I personally could not do that emotional work and also everything that it takes to have CF. It's unless you have it. And even if you have it, there's different levels of it. So you can't judge one person on the other. Um, my doctor said I would live until I was 15 and 34. So it's been kind of a struggle since college, <clears throat> um, rapid rate, if you would say. Anyways, so the fight is always there, and sometimes you just don't have enough to fight both. So in January and February, I decided to fight one solely, and that was my spirit and my being and understanding what was going on, and I didn't want to be emotionally abused anymore. I didn't want to be emotionally abusive. I didn't want to take anything from my life into my future. <clears throat> and I worked really, really hard to get to even this place. And I'm really proud of that. Within that, I had a breakdown as far as, you know, I was talking to my doctor, my CF doctor, and I just said, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like, I can't do it. I don't want any meds. I don't want anything like I'm so tired I was so tired I was so tired I was so tired it was so overwhelming for 30 years you know you don't get a break and if you get a break you get really sick <clears throat> and it's not like you just wake up feeling wonderful like you wake up with like you gotta fight this to even and then by the afternoon I usually do feel a little bit better but let me stop, <laughs> gather my thoughts, myself.